Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Pratik Joshi. This patient underwent surgery for left side radius fracture 15 years back. He was operated when he was a young child with plenty of skeletal growth remaining. Now after 15 years, he wants to get this implant removed. You can appreciate that the growth of the distal radius physis has led to proximal migration of the tip of the rush pin so much so that it's now lying at the level of diaphysis. Now I am going to apply a skin incision over the palpable tip of the rush pin and then I am going to carry blunt dissection to retract the superficial branch of the radial now and extensor tendons of the wrist and the thumb. After blunt dissection we could easily identify the tip of the rush pin but there was lot of bone overgrowth around the implant so we are going to use osteotome to clear out all the excess bone holding the implant. You can see that we are using a very small osteotome for this purpose because if we use a large osteotome there is a possibility of inadherent damage to rest of the bone. All the excess bone around the tip of the implant should be excised completely with the help of an osteotome but at the same time we should also be careful not to fracture the radius. Once we are sure that we have adequately removed excess bone around the implant, we are going to hold the tip of the rush pin with the help of a plier and then first we are going to rotate the rush pin clockwise and counterclockwise because this is going to break all the bony adhesions around the implant and then we are gradually going to pull out the rush pin. So we have removed the rush pin without any complications. Now we are going to give wash and close the wound in layers. This completes the procedure. Contrary to popular belief that implant removal is a small or easy procedure, actually it is one of the most challenging procedure in orthopedics. Thanks for watching this video.